Coach, um, how do you feel after uh, the performance of uh, your team this evening? Uh, not good, and that is obvious because we, uh, let, let us say, they deserved fully uh, the win. And uh, but uh, I think uh, today, if you play with the four at the back or with five at the back, it doesn't matter because if you see our uh, our team how they play to football, it was uh, worrying for me to see. And uh, yeah, if you play the most balls to the to the wrong color, of course you get a problem. And uh, of course, we expect them uh, to to be very sharp in the beginning, and uh, and we know. And uh, they had nil, uh, nil points, but in the previous games they had a lot of chances, and they have a good team, they have good players, and they and they bring more energy, and that is worrying uh, me. And of course, uh, we are very limited in uh, numbers in our midfield, and the midfield is the most important part of the game. And uh, uh, but uh, anyway, they. Uh, deserve fully uh, the win. You said something about energy that uh, Ashdod brought to the game. What, what's the reason that your players are coming without energy? And I want to ask you about the second half. It seems that some of your guys like let go of this game and you know didn't fight till the end. Uh, what is uh, what I do not like is the, the, the attitude of some players. And uh, you can play a bad game, it's normal because we're, we are human beings. But uh, if you see some players uh, about their faces, about their attitude, faces down, uh, shoulders down. Yeah, that, body language, body language. Yeah, that, I think that's a very good word. Uh, body, body language, and that is, uh, yeah, it, I don't like that. I, don't, I hate that. And this is not the first time. And, uh, and it's also a mental thing, of course. And I think it, it's not just in our team, but I, I think uh, in a lot of teams. Uh, but this is, uh, for me, I'm very worrying about this, and uh, because we are still in the beginning of the season. And uh, but this, I, I saw this before, and everybody likes to talk before the game, after the game, half time. But you have to, to, to talk in a good way and to help each other. And we do, the, we don't do this, and that uh, you see also. But it's not uh, uh, complete true what you told me about uh, totally no energy. If you uh, do not mark or you do not run, of course the, the opponent get the ball, they play in between the lines and we are too late. So it is not always about energy, it's always also about the intelligence to see uh, how an uh, opponent is playing, how your own team is playing and that uh, we miss. You said yourself this is the squad that you have, you cannot do changes at least until January. Do you believe that this squad, those players, can change something in their attitude, in the mental ways, in football wise? Can you change it? Uh, uh, we have always, uh, in football wise, for example, we have always to repeat, and we do every day repeating. But on the game, in the game, then a lot of players do different things, and they make it uh, uh, too difficult for themselves or for uh, the, uh, for for your mate. Yeah. And, and that uh, we have to repeat again. And the, and the, what I see, uh, your attitude as a professional. And also for, for our fans, uh, I expect more. Do you feel that your players will uh, be able to uh, deal the situation that your guys now in the lower part of the table and not in the upper part as you want it to be? Yeah, they told me if you play in Baita, you have a little bit more pressure if you play. But on the other hand, uh, you have a lot of uh, fans uh, behind you. And uh, it, you have to enjoy this. And, uh, but we are, we are now in a difficult time, uh, uh, that is for sure, but uh, uh, tomorrow we have to, 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 to build again and uh, of course, I'm the coach, everybody is looking to the coach and that is my job and uh, I'm responsible, I know. Thank you very much, coach. You're welcome. Thank you very much, coach. You're welcome. It's very far from this, and it's hard for us to return to this in any way. אמרת גם מקודם, וגם שמעתי אותך, אתה אומר שזה אחד המשחקים הכי גרועים שאתה זוכר בביתר ירושלים כקבוצה. וזה לא מה שקורה באימונים, זה לא קורה ברמת האנרגיה של הקבוצה. אני לא חושב שהמשחק הזה משקף את האופי של הקבוצה הזאת, ותכף שאנחנו משחקים בדרך כלל. אני לא יודע מה גרם לנפילה כזאת של, לא יודע איך לקרוא לזה, מתח אנרגיה, אין לי מושג. 
היה לנו פה קהל מאוד גדול שדחף אותנו, וזה מבאס, מבאס להחזיר אותו עם הפסד כזה. יום שבת כבר משחק חדש, ואנחנו צריכים לתקן את הטעויות האלה מהר מאוד, ולראות מה אנחנו שווים באמת. טוב, התקווה הרבה טיפים בטעויות. בעצם איך עושים את זה עכשיו? איך יום שבת, מגיעים לטדי, גם כמובן שהקהל יגיע ויתפוף? אני מאוד מאוד מעריך ומחזיק מהצוות מה המקצועי שיש לנו פה השנה. אני חושב שהוא יודע טוב מאוד מה לעשות ואיך לשפר את זה ואין לי ספק שנעשה את זה ונצא מפה ל- 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 לדרך חדשה ושלא... שמשחק כזה לא יחזור על עצמו אני פשוט חוזר על המילים האלה כמה שאפשר כי זה באמת היה משהו שהוא חריג ו- ולא משקף את מי שאנחנו באמת